Hello everyone, Marius here. Uh, in today's video I have some extremely good news for you guys. Mr. Lee. Uh, probably like the best news I've ever had on this channel. Um, so keep a hold of your seats. I don't know. Yeah. Um, here it comes. Preydog, the creator of the Resident Evil mods for PC. Now he did like Resident Evil uh, 2 the remake, 3 the remake, 7 and 8. All of those games were like playable in VR pretty much overnight. <laughs> right? Uh, that guy picked up a project by another person on the flat screen to VR Discord channel that I've been following for a pretty long time now uh, where there, there's this user who is trying to make every Unreal Engine game playable in VR and Preydog has picked up that project and start, started porting over the work that is done with the Resident Evil games because uh, from what I've read, like that was written in C++ code. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, uh, and Unreal Engine uses C++ as its programming language. So that makes like the process like porting over from what I've understood pretty straightforward. I don't know, it's probably not straightforward at all. But there's another person on Discord who has spent a lot of time on making like uh, the Unreal Engine games playable in VR. Can't remember the person's name, but I've been following along that for a pretty long time now. Uh, and all of a sudden, I read these these uh, news, <coughs> this news, excuse me, <laughs> and that is a big deal, because like. Unreal Engine games, right? The, it, I always praise that game engine for so many things, like it's so intuitive and whatnot and yada yada, you know? The thing is with Unreal Engine games is that all of them are playable in VR, like straight off, uh, but developers remove uh, the plugins that make the games playable in VR. So like games like um, Ghost Runner or Ghostwire Tokyo and etc. Right, straight off they would be playable in VR if it wasn't for the fact that the developers themselves remove a couple of plugins that are necessary to play the games in VR. Unity, on the other hand, is built up in a totally different way which means uh, uh, that modding those games into VR are, is much more straightforward because um, you can access the source code and like a lot of stuff. Preydog's plugin, it's a universal plugin, so it would need other modders to like enhance the experience, right? Um, putting in like motion controller support and all of that stuff maybe making it a first-person uh, experience like with games like Stray and whatnot, right? Other modders would need to go in and do that work. But I can imagine like if you get the same level of quality that you got with the Resident Evil mods, like shit, man. I'm playing Resident Evil 7 on my laptop. Totally smooth, like a extremely smooth experience with everything on high or the highest settings like that is insane man because uh, that that's a that's a freaking laptop that's because of the work from of prey dog right uh, now like imagine every unreal engine game like then we're gonna play a proper batman <laughs> vr experience man like proper stereo 3D uh, and all of that jazz, like everything. So a great day for flat screen to VR enthusiasts. 
Uh, this was announced a while ago, but I didn't hear about it because I haven't really been that much active on the flat screen to VR Discord lately. Uh, as some of you know, uh, <laughs> who have watched my other videos, me and my wife, we're having a baby, so I've kind of been uh, up to my neck in stuff to do. Um, but this is awesome news, man. Holy crap. Okay, so that's it for today, folks. Two big ass thumbs up to us flat screen to VR gamers. A lot of good stuff is coming. Okay, I'll catch you on the next one. See you, folks.